Elden Ring is coming to Game Boy, sorta, and the reveal of Modern Warfare 2 could be sooner than you think. Reddit user Shintendo announced a demake of Elden Ring on the game's subreddit and even posted a clip of the opening area and boss fight. Shintendo revealed they intend to show how they develop Elden Ring for actual Game Boy hardware on Twitch and archive it on their YouTube channel. Shintendo also clarified that they are using software called GB Studio 3.0 to accomplish the enormous feat. Due to that enormity, they are also not settled on the scope of the project yet, but did say they're at least hoping to finish the Limgrave area by the end of May. If and when that section is complete, Shin plans to release a demo on itch.io. Until then, you all have to settle for the actual Elden Ring, which we gave a perfect score to and I still haven't beat yet. So we've established that Elden Ring on Game Boy would be cool, but I'd love to see Call of Duty as well. And speaking of COD, Infinity Ward's social media pages have gone dark in an apparent viral marketing campaign to promote this year's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. As IGN discovered, brightening the new image seems to show the mask of of Simon Ghost Riley, a famous character from the Modern Warfare universe. Modern Warfare 2 was originally announced in February alongside the reveal of a new Warzone title. Today, Activision Blizzard management shared a little more about both projects, confirming that Modern Warfare 2 is the most, quote, advanced entry in the series so far. Activision also boasts that Warzone 2, or whatever the game is called, will feature, quote, groundbreaking innovations. In the past, developers have admitted it's been a struggle to adapt Warzone from Modern Warfare 2019 to Cold War and then Vanguard, and more recently, they couldn't do map rotation because of the file size. So this new version could be a chance to start fresh and pull off map changes and events more similar to Fortnite and Apex. Are you excited for Modern Warfare 2? Because I definitely am. So hit the comments and predict when the official reveal will drop. Not into shooters? That's okay, because Diablo Immortal is set to launch on both iOS and Android on June 2nd. The game will release with eight different zones, each with their own style, loot, and enemies, with more zones coming in the future. Players can also join in random live events to take on larger enemies, as well as an eight-person mission that serves as the game's first raid experience. June 2nd will also mark the beginning of an open beta test for the newly revealed PC version of the game, which will support full cross-progression with both iOS and Android. The PC version will support WASD movement for the first time in Diablo history, while all progress made by PC beta testers will carry over to the full version of the game upon release. Diablo Immortal is a unique story in Diablo lore set between Diablo 2 and 3. Those interested in pre-registering can do so on both iOS and Android right now. So without saying mobile sucks, comment your favorite thing to play on your phone. You can follow me on Twitter at Devontae Chisholm, and I'll see you again tomorrow.